Gene Stapleton, a name that resonates with the golden age of Hollywood, brings forth two fundamental questions for anyone familiar. With her work, the first question that often arises is, when was the first time you recognized Jean Stapleton? For many, that recognition occurred through the iconic character she portrayed, Edith Bunker, on the classic TV series All in the Family. Her portrayal of the lovable but quirky wife endeared her to audiences across the nation. The second question takes us deeper into her legacy. Is there a particular moment from one of Jean Stapleton's works that has had a lasting impact on you? Stapleton's career spanned over six decades, featuring remarkable performances on stage and screen. Her talent transcended generations and left a profound impression on the world of entertainment. Now, let's delve into some fascinating random facts about this classic Hollywood actor. Did you know that Jean Stapleton initially hesitated to take on the role of Edith Bunker, fearing it might typecast her? It's surprising to think that she almost missed out on a character that would become an iconic part of television history. As we continue to explore the life and career of Jean Stapleton, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this remarkable actor. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of Jean Stapleton on the world of entertainment. Actress Jean Stapleton is best remembered by the public for her role as Edith Bunker on the TV series All in the Family. Her portrayal of Edith Bunker, the lovable and often naive wife of Archie Bunker, brought her widespread acclaim and recognition. Her performance was not just a portrayal of a character, it was a reflection of the changing social dynamics and the challenges faced by many families during that era. Stapleton's journey to becoming Edith Bunker was quite serendipitous. She won the role when creator Norman Lear directed her in his 1971 film Cold Turkey, where she showcased her incredible acting skills. This connection with Lear ultimately led to her casting in All in the Family, a role that would define her career and become a beloved part of television history. In addition to her iconic TV role, Stapleton had a diverse and accomplished career in both the stage and film. She portrayed Sister Miller in the stage version of Damn Yankees, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She further solidified her place in the entertainment industry when she reprised her role in the movie adaptation of Damn Yankees in 1958. Her ability to excel in various mediums, from television to theater and film, demonstrated her incredible range as an actress. Jean Stapleton's talent and warm on-screen presence endeared her to audiences and made her a beloved figure in the entertainment world. Her legacy lives on, and her portrayal of Edith Bunker continues to be celebrated as a significant contribution to the art of acting. Jean Stapleton's name will forever be etched in the annals of entertainment history, and her memorable roles in television and film continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. This tribute is... Jean Stapleton, known for her iconic role as Edith Bunker in All in the Family, had a remarkable career beyond the small screen. Following her departure from the long-running TV series, she made her Broadway appearance in the comedy Arsenic and Old Lace, alongside actress Polly Holiday, who was also seeking distance from her TV hits. Interestingly, Holiday was later replaced by Marion Ross, who was making her first Broadway appearance after a successful run on Happy Days. This transition into live theater marked a new chapter in Stapleton's career, showcasing her versatility as an actress. While Stapleton achieved fame as Edith Bunker, she also had other opportunities. In 1977, she played a significant role in organizing the National Women's Conference in Houston, a gathering of 2,000 delegates from across the United States. This event was part of International Women's Year and aimed to contribute to the formulation of national policies on women's issues. Stapleton's involvement in such a significant event reflected her commitment to important social causes. These lesser-known aspects of Jean Stapleton's career and life highlight her multifaceted talents and her dedication to meaningful causes beyond the entertainment world. Her contributions to both Broadway and women's issues showcase a deeper, more complex side of this beloved actress. Jean Stapleton's remains found their final resting place in a somewhat unexpected location. After her passing, her body was cremated at Ferncliff Cemetery and Mausoleum in Hartsdale, New York. However, her ashes were not interred there. Instead, they were quietly buried unmarked in the grave of William Putchett Lincoln Cemetery in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. 
This decision to have her ashes rest alongside William Putch may leave some wondering about the connection between the two. Jean Stapleton's link to William Putch runs deeper than just a casual acquaintance. She was the wife of William Putch, a theater director, and they shared a life together. It's a testament to the lasting bond between them, choosing to be reunited in this unmarked grave. This fact sheds light on a lesser known aspect of Jean Stapleton's personal life and the decisions she made regarding her final resting place. In the world of Hollywood and entertainment, it's not always the glitz and glamour that defines a person's legacy. Sometimes, it's the quiet and personal choices that leave a lasting impression. Jean Stapleton's choice to have her ashes interred with William Putch speaks to the depth of their relationship and the significance of their connection. This touching and personal decision offers a unique perspective on the life of the beloved actress, highlighting her commitment to those she held dear. It's a reminder that the legacies we leave behind are often shaped by the people we love and the choices we make. In the end, Jean Stapleton's story goes beyond her iconic roles on screen, delving into the realm of deeply personal choices. It's a reminder that there's more to every individual than what meets the eye, and that the quieter aspects of one's life can be just as impactful as the public ones. Jean Stapleton, best known for her role as Edith Bunker on the TV series All in the Family, had a notable connection to the Caledonia State Park area in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. She and her husband, William Putch, owned and operated the Totem Pole Playhouse, a summer stock theater in that picturesque location. Although Jean Stapleton's iconic portrayal of Edith Bunker is what most people remember her for, her ties to this theater and the surrounding community were an important part of her life. Stapleton's husband hailed from the Chambersburg area, which is why they decided to establish the Totem Pole Playhouse there. This theater became a significant part of the local art scene providing opportunities for aspiring actors and enriching the cultural fabric of the region. Even though Stapleton's children still visit the area, her connection to Caledonia State Park and the Totem Pole Playhouse is a less known facet of her life. The theater served as a testament to her passion for the performing arts beyond her television career. While she had the chance to take on a role in the iconic film Willy Wonka, in the chocolate factory, she opted to work on the pilot of All in the Family. This decision, along with her commitment to the Totem Pole Playhouse, demonstrates her dedication to her craft and her desire to make a lasting impact in the world of entertainment. As we remember Jean Stapleton on what would have been her 100th birthday on January 19th, 2023, it's important to recognize not only her famous roles on screen, but also her contributions to the local arts community, which continue to shape the cultural landscape of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. This lesser known aspect of her life adds depth to our understanding of this beloved actress. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the life, and work of actress Jean Stapleton, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this remarkable talent. Jean Stapleton graced our screens and stages with her unforgettable presence, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Perhaps you remember her iconic role as Edith Bunker in the groundbreaking television series All in the Family, where her portrayal of a loving but often naive wife and mother resonated with audiences across generations. Or maybe it was her numerous theatrical performances that left you in awe of her versatility and skill as an actress. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories and thoughts about Jean Stapleton's performances. What scenes or lines touched your heart? How did her work inspire or influence you? Your stories and reflections contribute to the rich tapestry of her legacy, reminding us of the profound impact she had on the world of entertainment. As we pay tribute to the incredible career of Jean Stapleton, we express our deep appreciation for the joy, laughter, and tears she brought into our lives. Her enduring contributions to the arts will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. Thank you for your time and interest in celebrating the life and work of actress Jean Stapleton. Your participation enriches our collective memory of this remarkable artist, and for that, we are truly grateful. Farewell for now, and until we meet again in the world of stories and dreams.